Hello and welcome to the 23rd tutorial in the Cocos 2DJS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at fade in a node using the fade out action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2DJS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2DJS are nodes such as sprites and many items and a lot of other things that you'll be interacting with and that you'll visually see. We will look at fade in a node using the fade out method which fades it relative to its current opacity to zero opacity, hence hiding that node, it won't be visible anymore. So be there, but you won't be able to visually see it. Let's open up our app.js, wrong project, that's the test project that I use. Uh, source app.js. Okay, so what we want to do is create a sprite action, var sprite underscore action, equal to cc dot fade out. I'm going to put dot .create, forgot about all that. And this one takes one parameter, and that is how long you want it to take. It doesn't take any of the parameters, like what opacity you should go to, because you're fading it, it's going to zero. Obviously, it's relative to what it is now, but it doesn't need what it is now, because the sprite already knows. So, the last thing we need to do is sprite. I think you can guess that if you've been following this series, dot .run action. And in here, we simply just specify our action that we're going to run. So, sprite action. Save this, we're going to minimize it. Open up terminal. CD. And we're going to CD to our project directory. Ooh, not that. This one here. Run the project. So, cocos run dash p web. And see it's running and it is fading at the sprite now. So, that is it on fading out a sprite fading out to node in general that's the fade out action we've also covered all the other fade in actions as well little thing to know you can't reuse actions for different nodes you even need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again recommended just create a new action for the different nodes the next tutorial will cover skewing nodes using the skew to action which skews it relative to its original state. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the requiring source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.